Hi, I'm Darren Ferrigia and welcome. What you heard me play at the start of this video is a Dave Weckl lick. And Dave plays this lick on a track on the Chick Corea Electric Band album called Eye of the Beholder. The lick itself is part of a fill uh, that's probably a, a, a one bar fill or two bar fill played a 16th note triplets or really fast triplet, triplets, but it's basically a triplet lick. Now this lick in particular that I'm going to show you, I've only ever heard him play once in this particular fill that I was talking about on this Chick Corea Electric Band album. It's not something that, that I've heard him play a lot, but mind you, he may have played it on other recordings or, you know, perhaps things that he plays live. So I'm going to teach that to you today. But more importantly, I wanted to see how that lick would translate to um, a, a typical bebop sounding kit. Now as you could hear, this kit is actually tuned quite high. And the tuning is actually very open. But I thought it would sound good as a lick on a bebop kit because it's uh, in 3-4 and um, it's triplets. So let me teach you this lick. As I said, the lick is in 3-4 and it's made up of triplets. One ander, two ander, three ander. So I'm gonna teach you beat by beat how to play this lick. So the first beat or the first triplet is played right, left, right, snare drum, rack tom, floor tom. So that's the first beat. The second beat is kick, left, right, kick, rack tom, floor tom. I'll put those first two beats together. And the third beat is kick left left on the snare drum. I'll put all three beats together this time so you can hear what this whole thing sounds like. And I'll play it pretty slow. I'll give you a one bar count in three, four. One and a, two and a, three and a. Now at this point, I would suggest that for the sake of good four-way coordination, you play quarter notes with your left foot. So I'll play that lick again, a little brighter with the left foot playing quarter notes. Two bars of three in. A one, two, three, one, two, three. There is an accent at the very start of this lick. You can play that as a rim shot if you like. Now before I go any further, there is a PDF that you can download to accompany this video. So I'll leave a link to that download in the description underneath. So now that we understand this, now that we understand this lick, the idea is to be able to play it across you know, two or four bars of four, four. So what I suggest that you do before you get to that point is practice this lick so much that it becomes, you know, just a natural thing to play that you don't have to think about the sticking or the accuracy or anything like that. And once that becomes a thing where you can just play it, then what I would suggest that you do is to practice playing the hi-hat on every second beat so that's kind of replicating playing the hi-hat on two and four. So at this point, I'm gonna still think of it and count it in as three, four, but I'm gonna play the hi-hat foot on every second beat. Here's a two bar count in three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now that we can do that, we can start thinking about how to play this across two bars of 4-4 four, four to begin with. So two bars of 4-4 four, four is equal to eight beats. This lick, as I've discussed in previous videos, is in 3-4, so we can play the 3-4 lick twice. That gives us six beats, and then we can just add another two beats. So for the last two beats, which is like a 2-4 bar, I'm gonna play the first two beats of the lick, which would be this. 
Because that finishes with my right hand on the floor tom, my left hand would play the crash, let's say, on beat one. So let's try this. So it's two bars of three, a bar of two, left hand is playing the crash on beat one. I'm gonna count this in four, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. I can alter those two beats at the end in order for me to come out of the fill with my right hand on a right cymbal or a crash. So in order for me to do that, I will play right, left, right, and then kick left, left. So let's try that. One bar of four in. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna play both of those options and in between I'm just gonna play two bars of time. So this is just like a little time playing exercise, two bars of time, two bars of fill coming out on either the left hand or on the right hand. Beyond that point, the next step would be to play this lick across four bars of 4-4. Four, four. Now because we're playing in 4-4, four, four, but the lick itself is in 3-4, it's going to take three bars of 4-4 four, four for the whole pattern to resolve. And that's going to feel like a natural kind of conclusion to the phrase, but remember we still have an extra bar to go. So when you get to that fourth bar, Think of it as being the same as the first bar, we're just gonna add an extra beat to the end of it. So the fourth bar will sound like this. One, two, three, four. As I pointed out, this will be explained in the PDF. So here we go, this is four bars of that lick in four, four, preceded by four bars of time in four, four. Here we go. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. So now we've developed the ability to play this across four bars of four, and by this point you should be pretty familiar with that lick. So then, the next obvious progression is to incorporate this into your vocabulary. So just practice improvising, and then I guess if you know the fill well enough, or you know that lick well enough, then it should start to appear in, in your drum solos, in your, you know, in amongst your general vocabulary. So I'll see if I can do that for you. So there you have it. There's a Dave Weckl lick on a bebop kit. I'm interested to know how you think this sounds. I mean, it kind of works, you know, it translates beautifully to a kit that sounds this way. And I think it's also one of those licks that would sound great on a Bonham-esque type of kit, you know, bigger toms, lower tuning, a thuddier type of sound. It's a really versatile lick, but in this context, it sounds really great. And as I said, if you want to download the PDF that accompanies this video, I'll leave a link to that uh, download in the description 
below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this is something that you can use in your playing. Um, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up, you know, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video which is every week. So until next week have a great week and uh, see you all soon. Bye.